Hi there, this is just a quick video to show you how you can actually edit data within um, ArcGIS Online. So if I just go to content, I'll use the Battlefields one that I've, I've used, used before. So, um, so here I am in, in, my, in my content and um, I'll go to, I'll, I'll select one um, of interest, which was, like I said, the Battlefields hosted layer. So I just want to make a few changes and I'll just show you about making changes within this environment and then in another video uh, I'll show you a couple of other ways. So if you look down the right hand side you can see um, a few options here. So one of them is um, of course exporting the data out to something else. So you could um, theoretically just dump everything out and then change it wherever and however you like. Um, and then bring the whole lot back in, or indeed append changes. And that's what update data will do for you. So update data allows you to overwrite the entire layer. So let's say I, I received a new update to these battlefields layers, a shapefile. So I'll be able to overwrite the entire layer with the whole new file. And then it would just update the feature service. Or I can append, you get much the same um, you get a dialog box, um, much the same. You know, you choose the file, um, uh, how you want it, uh, the, the, the source data is, and this will be appended with obviously keeping the appropriate um, schema, same database structure, same file structure. Um, you, you know, so you bring it, bring it straight in. So if this is a shape file originally, then okay, I make my put some new battlefields in there maybe, and then um, and then use append. So. You can overwrite the whole thing, you can append, and and off you go. Uh, one, one thing to note about all of it, you don't need to republish, by the way. Don't don't bother with that. It will just update the feature service, but it won't be kind of immediate. You'll, you'll, you know, when you do these things, or when you change any data at all, you, you know, there's a sort of um, heartbeat uh, going on in ArcGIS Online. So if you're up with that, okay, it may, it may um, appear in the published um, features quicker um, sooner sooner rather than later but you you know you could wait quite a few minutes quite possibly before you see data changes um, it just depends really on and indeed on how much data of changes of course you know if you change a million rows then you know that's that's going to take a bit longer um, if we click on the data tab here you see the data one um, you actually get all, all, the, all the data here anyway so here you can just double click and change the data so where you're doing you know just simple um, view value changes uh, you just want to fix a couple of errors then there's nothing wrong with doing this you just do it and as soon as you kind of take focus away it'll it'll automatically save it and um, and sort of off you go um, you can also use this bit to um, actually uh, also bring in new data rather from the main screen um, and, and there's a couple of other things there but you can append data here as well that's the key thing but also note add field so we can change the schema here and add a new field uh, display name what it stores and uh, an optional default value and how long the string is or whatever um, so you can um, change the schema think twice when you've particularly got a survey one two three feature service um, adding fields, taking fields away can can um, cause sort of domino effect down the line. So just just be wary when you're using something that um, is used by like the collector app or survey one two three because uh, you know there's a few more strings to sort of disentangle um, when you start playing around with schemas um, with, with with that. But anyway, that's all. That's all I was going to show you. Um, it's a very simple. Um, ways to uh, just update the data, to change it, to edit it, all within ArcGIS Online. I hope that's useful. Thanks.